Hey guys, it's Rain Yorm here with another Optimal Boss Guide, this time for Bryophyta, Fita, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, before we get into the video, if you could please leave a like and subscribe, as well as consider joining my Discord server. Link is in this video's description. I would highly appreciate it. So for gear, you're going to use pure offense melee. Your attack style does not matter, but you do want to have a fast weapon. So that's why I'm using the rapier over the fang, because it attacks faster. Um, you want to copy my inventory except uh, the steel keyring I did not need to bring. So everything else but the steel keyring you can copy, uh, which is a DPS spec weapon. An anti-poison, we might not even need to use this. Might not even need to use it because we're going to kill the boss so fast. But in case we do get poison, we have it. Magic secateurs, uh, the important thing about this is that I've held shift and right click, swap left click, and I changed it to use so I can quickly left click the minions with it. Um, why are we doing this? Well. That's the free-to-play hourly profits. So I wouldn't take that too seriously. The average Bryo kill is worth 124k while in a member's world. And also the reason we're doing this is for the chance at the 12 mil drop, uh, which is the essence 1 in 118. Uh, it's actually a very useful, well not very, but it's a, it's a luxury item. And I personally like to have one in my bank. So it is actually worth having on a main. So that's why it's worth so much. But yeah. So, uh, quick prayers, protect from magic and piety. Um, the burning claws, I've switched from lunge back to slash because they are primarily a slash weapon. And uh, yeah, so we can start with the burning claws on. We can angler pot and then use our mossy key to enter. And I'm only gonna spec once to start with. Uh, that is because the burning claws. Okay, so here we got minions, so we're just gonna go. We're just gonna tap them each, and once they're all at zero health, we're gonna left click them all with the secateurs. You may not get minions at all if you're fast enough or you use all your specs. Pff, very unlucky getting them immediately again. I mean, it's not exactly an optimal boss guide now, but it's just luck, right? I can't do anything about it. And I did get poisoned. And more spawns, lol. Okay, I hope that wasn't because of my burning claws. We're going to test that next kill. Alright, there's kill number one. Two ruined medhelms, very good drop that boss all right i'm scared that the burning claws have affected it so hopefully not i'm hoping that the like the damage over time because i didn't even think i i didn't even proc damage over time there i'm gonna spec twice actually i only have one more key anyway but i guess it doesn't matter i could have killed it there okay this is this kills actually went quite disastrous okay we're gonna learn together though so my dots are currently dealing zero damage so if the minions spawn right away, then I'm going to have to remake this video because you can't use that weapon, if that's the case. No, okay, it was just a, it was just bad luck. Uh, you can use the Burning Claws because they did not spawn minions immediately. Oh, another Masa Key. Look at that. I've actually never gotten a Masa Key from the boss itself. Well, we have one more. Let me see if I can get this drop while on, um, you know, while recording. Also, we can do a kill without getting minions. <laughs> there they are again. Lamau. Do not spawn more, please. I beg. Thank you. Get ready to teleport out. And uh, yeah, honestly, pretty good drops for that boss. Um, maybe not the most optimal guide ever, but really it was just RNG. Honestly, I didn't really do anything wrong. Um, it's just RNG. At least we did learn that the Burning Claws are not a problem. I had a fear that they were a problem because maybe the dot, uh, while it was immune, would trigger the minions to spawn, but that was just superstition. We confirm that's not the case, so don't worry. You can use Burning Claws. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.